name is Chris McMorrow. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is my 99 Evo chopper. I was looking for a, a bike to build after I had sold my last chopper. Um, a buddy of mine had the front end on this thing, which is a nine over panhead front end, and wound up building the entire bike around that. This front end came off uh, an old bike that I had seen from a guy back in Chicago, and I wanted to kind of build a similar bike to that with, a, with the same kind of stance to it. Then I bought a wrecked 99 soft tail and then ripped the, the motor and the trans and the oil tank and the, out of there and then built it up from that. So I can't stand forward controls. They're super uncomfortable to me. So it made sense to run those Frisco mids and I'd never, I'd never done them before, so why not? When I first sat on it with the mids, it, I mean, it was super sketchy to ride around with the tall bars and that. It was just way different than other bikes that I've built, but slowly getting used to it and I really dig it. I think the most unique thing about it is the paint on the tank. Uh, I had a buddy of mine in Chicago named Matt Carr do the paint. Uh, he's done a lot of metal album covers and um, does comic book art and stuff. And I'd wanted to get a tank painted from him about 10 years ago and never had the money to do it. And finally, we, uh, we got together and he was able to paint the tank. The one thing I had to really think about and ran into snags with was with the fender. Uh, just a normal mounting setup, the, the fender wound up being super narrow, couldn't run the normal strap across the tire, so I wound up mounting it from the top and it just took a little bit to kind of figure out. Yeah. I mean, I literally did everything with a welder and hand tools right here in this garage. I mean, it really wound up being exactly what I was looking for. To me, it's to say you did it, to hold all those pieces in your hand uh, and just know that you put it together and to be able to know your bike. Just do it. T start taking your bike apart and then figure it out because I didn't know anything when I built my first bike and you start researching things, asking friends, and then you're eventually like, doesn't take that much. You realize it's pretty simple and easy and it goes together pretty quick.